Hello, hello, everybody! Welcome to a blast from my past, which is Paper Mario. I love this game so much. Everything has been breaking on me lately, and I, I really mean that. I mean everything. Um, and I have not had time to record. When I have recorded, something has gone wrong. It is broken, or it gets deleted, or there's no commentary, or I play through the ending of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, I get so excited, I yell, I make the neighbors hate me, and then it goes away. Completely. I don't want to talk about it. So today I'm going to play something that is not a scary game, but is a, wow, I cannot do this, is a game from my past. Back in 2001 this game came out. Back when Hollywood Video was still a thing and I rented games to the N64. Um, also I realized I'm playing a Mario game and you know that's really really weird for a guy who primarily plays horror games but you know what sometimes I like to freaking relax okay? I don't like animatronics jumping in my face all the time. Just some of the time. And I am playing this on the Wii U um, so if you see this monstrosity in my hand that is why. It was recently re-released on the Wii U, previously being on my N64, is how I would play it. So here we join Mario and Luigi in their happy little home in the woods. Hey Mario, we've got a letter from Princess Peach. Obviously I'm going to treat this like story time, because what else are you going to do with an RPG like this? I'll read it to you, okay? Just like I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I should probably be consistent with my voices, but I don't think I can. I'm throwing a party at my castle today! Mario and Luigi, I'd be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach! Shouldn't be love Peach? Doesn't she love Mario by now? Aren't they, like, married or something? I guess I would make Mario Prince, and then he would be some type of plumber prince. I never really thought about the Mario family tree. Obviously Luigi's his brother, that much I know for sure. Cool. This happy little graphics, and everything's made out of paper, and it's like a storybook, and I'm gonna read you guys the storybook, I'm so excited! It's also like a turn-based RPG, with a little bit of, like, skill-stopping, and... no, oh, it's so good! Also, since I'm playing something on the console, I can actually see that this is recording, and that makes me really happy. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like a lot of guests are already here. Well, yes, it does. I'll, I'll just, uh, meander and mingle a bit. Oh, yo, what up? I'm looking well. I will enjoy the party. Hi! Welcome to Peach's Castle! I don't like the boring. Hurry up! I always bring my appetite. So much good food. I already hate way too much. Take a little breather. That's like me at a buffet. And ask anyone who's been with me at a buffet. I usually get up like five times. Minimum. Uh, I'm hungry again. Let's eat to the buffet table. See? Buffets! That's, where, that's what it's at, man. I'm just telling you. Am I actually going to talk to all these people? Do I know Frost Tea? Frost Tea! I get it. It's a pun. These are the things I didn't get when I was a kid and I played this. I haven't played this in a long time, so I, I actually don't remember most of this dialogue. But uh, let's let's skip all the flavor here. And let's get to the plot. I'm sure there's a lot of things here, but if you're really interested in talking to the individuals, I highly recommend you pick up the game yourself. It is very good. It is very worthwhile. And actually, I don't know if anyone... This is really old school, but the uh, setup to the castle here is the setup of the castle from Mario 64, which is hilarious and awesome. Because these were both Nintendo 64 games. They're totally different types of Nintendo 64 games. Uh, da da da, jump a little, ba ba ba, jump up the stairs, jump ba bum ba bum, ba 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 bum. Fuck your couch! I'm having way too much fun just doing this. I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm actually enjoying this. Okay, moving on. Fuck this couch, dude! No, I'm just kidding. And moving on again. Uh, man. Am I ever gonna get to where I'm going? Ever! Ever! Oh, Mario! You came!
came to the party to see me. Why is she Italian? I just decided she was. Deal with it. You're so sweet. Thank you. I can't keep up with an Italian accent. I was just resting a bit and gets tired. Greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. So, relax and chat, just the two of us. Mario said to the gentleman, he's like, yeah, yeah, that sounds good, lady. Let's do that. Such the gentleman. I realize my camera's a little off. See, isn't this great? Real-time adjustments, because I can see it. It was a lovely day today. I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh, shit, shaking. My controller's shaking. This is weird, because I didn't have a rumble pack on my N64. Um, because I was cheap. It took me forever to get the expansion pack for the N64, just so I could play Majora's Mask. Look at that castle, it's going up in the sky on top of that thing, you think? Freak outs! Everyone freak out! It's the best thing to do in these types of situations! Just panic! Everyone, just panic! Oh god, we're in space. Oh, are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? Your shit's in space, that's what that was. Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. As if you were in space. I'm not even gonna go over, like, the whole, like, oxygen thing that would be going on here. But, magic. I guess that kind of solves everything. Long time no see, Princess Peach! Wah ha 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 ha! Bowser, this can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> I hope I really captured that. I tried. I came from here. Yeah, it was me. Lifted your castle up to the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. We're expecting that, huh? Bowser's kind of a dick. Ha! This castle's under my control, my dear. Now you will obey me. What? It's Mario! What a shock! Ah, uh, not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Then Mario's got that look of determination in his face, like, I'm gonna mess you up, Mo mofo. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? Mario's gonna fuck your shit up. You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time, it's different. This time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go. Mario, you can do it. Yeah, Mario, we got this! We got this! I can jump! I can jump on Bowser! Jump on Bowser! Yeah, one damage. Ding! Jump on Bowser! I'm pretty sure, like, in, uh... I forget which Mario game it was. But, I think it was Mario Bros. 3, where it only takes, like, three jumps. And he'd be done. We're done! We're done! We win! Go, Mario! Oh, he's fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. I'm pretty sure if this is Mario Bros. 3, you've been be beaten by now. Take a look at this one I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work is the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. I'm pretty sure that this is the epitome of bad. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? I'm sparkly now! Deal with it! I'm in danger. Oh, now I just go dink. It doesn't help. Zell, you got how sad. It's best to take some vitamins. No, you best take some vitamins. Because that didn't hurt at all. You best take some vitamins. I take vitamins. I take vitamin C. Because I work with the public and I don't want to get sick. Oh, God, I didn't stir that. There was tea and all the sweeteners right at the bottom and it was gross. Because you guys need to know what I'm drinking. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to join with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh, so much fire. 
Okay, if you had an attack that did 10 damage, why didn't you just open with that? Why do we have to go through this whole song and dance? He could just- I had 10! I had 10 HP! You can rewind this and see that. If he could do an attack that had 10 HP, why didn't he just do the attack that had 10 HP? And just save us all some time! Oh yeah, I did it! Finally did it! Beat my own rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That is why you are the king. Damn right! No, that's not what I said. As long as I have the star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Probably really loud. I'm seeing the, the mic, like, cap out a lot. So I cannot even imagine what it's like for you guys. Sorry! Uh, let's turn that down just a little bit. Maybe I won't, like, blow your ears off now. I'm a loud person. Just deal with it. Well, 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 I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone anymore, that's for sure. So he just murdered him and he's gonna dump the body, I think is what he just said. Pretty messed up, dude. Just threw Mario out of space. Well, he's paper. So I guess that makes it okay. Oh no, Mario! And now we fall from space, falling, 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 continuing to fall, falling from space, falling down through the clouds, it's Paper Mario! Please, I just wrote it, now, deal. Prologue, a plea from the stars. Wouldn't the, what I just did be the prologue, and this would be the first chapter, or is that like a like, introduction from, you know, another author or something. I don't know. I don't know the structure of books very well. I play video games. I read, too. But I mostly play video games. I don't read a lot of books with prologues, though. Hooray! Little star shadow thingy-mabobs. Hooray! They're all here! I don't know who they are. I mean, I kind of know who they are, but it, this game came out 14 years ago. So excuse me if I don't remember the exact specifics. It would, I like the mustache star. All oh, thanks heavens, he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. Yeah, he was just thrown from space. But Bowser has the star rod, now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless! All is lost! Such the optimist. Everybody, just calm down. As long as you keep it together, there's always hope. Now, now see, he's got a great beard, but I imagine him to be like that guy in the horror movie who's just like, dude, we gotta come up with a plan. Let's split up. And you end up hating him for saying those words. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather around, everyone. Send Mario your power. God, it's such an uplifting message. I'm not, I'm, I'm being kind of sarcastic, but it's mostly because I'm so happy. Phew, that's it. It's all we can do now. Mario, please get up. Please. Bye, mustached star man. Jump on it! It's a Goomba, jump on it! Jump on it! Jump on it! Jump on it! Oh, who could that be? I forgot to read the dialogue because I was so, like, my, my Mario instincts of jumping on Goombas came through. Oh, this red shirt, this hat, this mustache, you know, it really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey! Hey! Wake up! Come up! Up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! I like that little jig. That's a fun little... I'm a little Jake. Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Do a Jake. Clearly. Oh! Crap. I pressed the button. Shit. Everyone, I pressed the button. Oh, God. Kayla's calling me. Mute button. Um, actually, what button did I press? I'm, press, I'm pressing that button again. What button was it? <laughs> that button. Okay. And I'm back! Alright, so, uh, I forgot what happened when the phone rang. Kayla's coming home, so that's it, uh, for a little bit. 
Uh, Dad, Goomba, Goombario! Goombario. Goombario? Goomba. Ario. Goombario. Goomba. Ario. I'm just gonna say whatever I feel like when it comes to that name, alright? Deal with it. Ugh. And... Mario. Can you hear me, Mario? Ground control to Major Tom. I am Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess in all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Okay, so I'm in a place and stuff. Oh look, a toad. I'm so happy to see you awake. You kidnapped me, didn't you? You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Oh, Mario's been in a coma. This place is just the Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. It's a small town. The Goombas and the family are the nicest folks you'll ever meet. I'm glad that Mario reacted to hearing that the Goombas lived in the village by jumping. Like, that's his instinct. Goomba, kill! Oh, oh, they're good. Oh, okay. I mean, in all fairness, that was my reaction too, but eh. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Oh, they carried me? They don't even have hands! It doesn't even make any sense! A star with a mustache. You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that. And I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. You crazy? I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Maybe. Or you're crazy. Question mark. Although maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Interesting. Who knows, in any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Fuck your bed! Fuck your bed! Fuck no, stay! Fuck your bed! Jump on the bed! Jump on the bed! Jump on the bed! Okay, we're done. Okay. Jump. Jump. Ow. Oh, land sakes. Mario, so nice to- Oh, land sakes? Oh, land sakes. Land Sockies. So nice to meet you! My! Head Excuse me! I'm so glad you woke up! I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. Hi, Mario! I'm Goombario! Goombario? Goombario. Goomba Ario. I'm your biggest fan! I can tell because half your name is mine. You don't know what this means for me to meet you. Seriously! Whoa. Why did I just do a spin? I'm... Is that part of the dialogue? Do it again. Oh, wait, that's a different dialogue. You're the coolest. I want to be just like you. Mario, know about your ventures around the world. You've been everywhere. You always get the best of the bad guys every time. You're the coolest. I want to be just like you. Do a spin. Do, 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 do spin. Oh, that's how. It's a trigger button. Okay. That's cool. I didn't know I could. Oh, God. I pressed that button again. I didn't know I could do that. But now I know. So that's cool. Save. This is basically telling me how to save. Saving is important if you don't want to die. Uh, actually, in RPGs like this, back in the day, when things didn't forgive you for dying, you had to go back to your last save point. The save points were points. You had to get to a point in order to save. Children, listen. Gaming has changed. Back in my day. Anyways, since I just saved, I feel like this is a good place as any to just stop this episode. Plus, I see Kayla's walking in. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.